Well, you know, walking up here and look, reading all these bios just before we all came into the uh, auditorium just sent chills up my spine to be considered among some of these great athletes, great teams. It's really an honor, and I really appreciate the Hall of Fame, uh, Pima County, to select me as one of the uh, Hall of Fame people. With that, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is also an exciting time for me because, it, you know, for 40 years, I've been pushed aside, <laughs> overlooked by my good friends here, and finally, I get the podium to do all the talking without being over talk. So uh, I'm really excited about that as well. So I also want to thank my family. Uh, my sons are here, Joshua and David Jr. And I, my other son, uh, Joseph, who is a Marine, he's uh, he's uh, in Camp Lejeune. Uh, so he's, he's not going to be here, but uh, anyway, I um, wanted to mention him as well, and I, I also want to thank my lovely wife, uh, Nikki, for coming down and supporting me all these years. With that, um, you know, I also want to thank Ronnie and Bonnie Great. We had a great time last night at our uh, Eagle Nation event. Uh, he, he opened his doors to us, and we had a lot of uh, fun time talking to about 12, 15 of our teammates, uh, school school children, uh, you know, our pals from school, and it was, a, it was a lot of fun. But the one thing that I did take out of that last night was everybody kind of just sat back at the very end and we were talking for a second and everybody goes, you know what? We're all pretty good. We're all well off. We're all doing okay. We're all, and, and the anchor to that, and I thought about that last night, and the anchor to that, and, and, a, and a guy I wish I was, was here with us tonight because he was an anchor uh, for many of us, was our high school coach, Dave Lynch. And uh, he, he was that kind of person for us. And uh, I know he's proud of me. I know he's proud of all the people that were part of this uh, Eagle Nation. And, and he influenced a lot of people uh, during his time on earth. So Dave, we got a seat over there for you, Dave Lynch. He was a great man. So, 1978, this tall, quiet, shy, skinny kid moved from Butler, PA, and he even talked a little funny. And, uh, you know, I come from a, 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 a part of western Pennsylvania where um, they taught square dance. <laughs> That's what you did at the school functions back in the day. And the only interaction I had with uh, anybody but white guys was uh, watching Starsky and Hutch and, <laughs> or Good Times, Kid Dynamite. And so when I moved to a diverse school called Santa Rita, there was a third black, third Hispanic, and a, th and a third white guys. And uh, I had a serious culture shock when I went there because I, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to to uh, interact. So this quiet, shy, tall kid just kind of kept his mouth shut. And I, I show up on campus and somebody would say, hey, man, give me a little skin. I'd go, I don't have any money. <laughs> because in Pennsylvania, when you say skin, they're talking about money. So uh, it was... Uh, an interesting time when, when I came to uh, Tucson and you know integrated into the team and some defining moments for me as I was getting uh, used to the culture shock was you know we're used to square dancing back here in Western PA and I hear guys walking on the campus with boom boxes with with music blaring ah oh, the freak to she freak out. I don't know if you guys remember that. Right. And so I'm like, man, what, what's going on here? What's the deal here? So uh, anyway, uh, so some of the defining moments for me at that time were uh, um, shortly after the season started, we were out at, at playing a game and coach had been just, Dave, you need to do this. You need to clear out. You need to use your elbows. You need to blah, 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 blah. And 
I'm like, okay. So they threw the ball to me down the post. And I got, did exactly what coach had been teaching for me for a few uh, weeks. And I ended up knocking the teeth out of the guy from Palo Verde. And so I was like, oh my goodness. So halftime rolls around and there I am sitting in the locker room and I'm kind of, coach comes up and he goes, well, Dave, can you explain? Because I didn't say a word to anybody at that school. I mean, I didn't talk as a sophomore. I mean, I was on the varsity team. I didn't speak much. And so coach all of a sudden pulls me out there and he's like, well, Dave, tell me exactly what happened there. And the whole team was around. And now I'm like, well, coach, uh, uh, I did the move you taught me and I hit him with my elbow. And everybody starts laughing at me. And I, that's how we spoke in Pennsylvania, it's elbow. So, uh, but the unique thing about that experience was that my team rallied around me and that to me was a defining moment for, for me to get acceptance into that team because as we got out of that halftime locker room, the guys all rallied around me, patted me on the back, and they started to accept me as their teammate. So that was a defining moment of, of, for me. And another defining moment was when that same year, I started to learn how to dunk in practice, and coach towards the end of the season goes, Dave, you need to, do uh, you think he can get you a, a dunk sometime this year? And I'm like, I don't know, coach. I'm gonna sure give it a shot. Well. It was against Choya, and uh, I ended up, there was a ball that was stolen by somebody, and they passed it up to me, and I was so excited, the dribble was getting behind me because I was running so fast, and it started getting, to, getting further and further behind, so I kind of take off, and I dunk the ball, and my feet went all the way up behind the backboard, and I let go, and I went, Boom, if I was glass, I'd be still picking up the pieces. <laughs> anyway, that, that uh, was also a defining moment for me because it started to give me the confidence as a basketball player that uh, I could play with these guys and, and grow as a player. So to me, I, I look at my career and who, who the mentors were and who, who and I would say, you know, we all often hear it takes a village to raise a child. I think the same thing is true with an athlete. You can look at a multitude of people in your life who help develop you to what you are today. And I look at uh, the players I played with, the coaches that I had, and those people have all had a stake in what developed me. So. I just wanted to bring that. It just takes a village to raise an athlete and make him a, a, what an athlete is uh, supposed to be. In closing, I, I believe all roads lead back to Tucson for me. All roads. I've been all over the world. I've played all over the world. But every time I think about my teammates, every time I think about my, my basketball career, where it started, the roots, it all comes back to Tucson. Um, you know, my competitiveness now, I hate losing, and my competitive nature uh, was developed here in Tucson. My shooting, my all, everything I have to do with uh, basketball was started here and was developed here. And, and, and speaking of competitiveness, you know, my coach, Dave Lynch, he used to play us one-on-one -on -one all the time. And I remember he was playing that little guy over there, Andy. And uh, Andy ended up beating Coach Lynch. And Coach Lynch starts running around and then he banged his head on the floor. And I'm like, man, wow, that guy's banging his head on the floor. So I ended up playing Andy and Andy beat me. So I thought, well, maybe that competitive nature, maybe I need to bang my head on the floor. So I went over there. Only thing I got was a headache. So anyway, um, I just want to uh, leave it that I have some great friends from my high school. They've been with me 40 years. We've done a lot of things together, been all over the world with them. And I really appreciate today's time with everybody and thank you.